So now that you know how boards work, this board that we have, the deal tracker, is several groups. But we want to focus on the items themselves. We have these items which are different, right? So probably uh, you understand that this is a deal tracker and uh, this item represents a deal for Phoenix. This item represents a deal for Madison. So sometimes you might want to uh, subdivide a particular deal into items that you want to follow for you to get it. Uh, so we have what we call sub items. They help us to expand each item so that we can have sub tasks or sub items. We have a deal for Phoenix and if we expand it, we can see that we now have what we call sub items. Uh, these sub items in this context of a deal tracker are things that a person needs to do for them to finish with this deal tracker. So one has to reach to out to Madison, uh, send a contract and deliver plans. So we can even add other columns that help us to uh, probably track this. For example, we can put a status there. So one can have a status to say this is done, that is done, and we are still working on delivering plans physically. So you see sub items help us to break the main item into workable uh, uh, tasks or items so you can do so many things with uh, sub items you can add many columns and you can even uh, link some columns uh, copy columns from the parent uh, 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 the parent item for example uh, let's just copy the close date uh, it's it has got no use here but you can quickly create the close date by making use of that if you want to delete it you simply come to these three and then you click delete so these are sub items i had already created let's take a look at uh, creating uh, a sub item and deleting a sub item let's just close this one and create a new deal let's say we are creating a deal for kraus we already have a person called kraus in my contacts board it's already linked so i can choose their name uh, there on my contacts and add Kraus uh, and the information is already added there. Uh, let's just say it's something that is negotiation. So we want to add sub uh, items. All we have to do is to say expand here and it already creates a sub item. What do we want to do? Say call Kraus. You see uh, we had already created status there so every sub item that is created within this area will copy the structure that we've made. So let's say we are working on it. We can even assign this to someone to say this person should call Kraus and they'll be notified once they are allocated in this sub item. So sub items really expand the functionality of the items that we have on the boards. So that's how we deal with sub items.